All right, so today let's talk about Archangel Zadkiel, who is maybe an angel that isn't quite well known um, compared to the big four, you know, Michael, Uriel, Gabriel, Raphael, but is nonetheless still a very helpful, kind, and important angel. So once again, we get some discrepancies here with um, who's who in the Bible. Uh, in Jewish tradition, Zadkiel is actually the angel that stops Abraham from sacrificing Isaac. And in Christian tradition, it's just God himself who comes down and says, whoa, 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 don't. Now, the reason for this is because it says an angel of the Lord, and then, you know, it says, oh, I see you're true because you wouldn't you have given him to me. You know, so that obviously, angel of the Lord, and then referring to God not in third person, that can get confusing. But, I mean, if you look at uh, the work of James L. Kugel, especially in The God of Old, he mentions that, yeah, oftentimes um, God and his angels were kind of like interchangeable. So, if you see a story of Abraham, you know, feeding his guests, there are more than one. They're angels, as we find out at the end, but they almost speak as if they are God, and there's a lot of different ways to interpret that. Either all of these angels were God all along, or these angels were so confident um, in their ability to speak on God's behalf that they just took on also his voice. In fact, in Exodus, it actually describes the angel as the fire itself in that burning bush. God is speaking literally through the angel, which is itself the fire of the bush. But whether or not Christian tradition uh, recognizes Zadkiel as the angel that came there to Abraham at that time doesn't seem to matter because he is still to this day, even in Catholic churches, depicted um, as an angel with a dagger, which kind of symbolizes, you know, that moment where Abraham was about to kill Isaac. And as such, he is an angel of mercy and memory. Zadkiel is an angel that, you know, is represented by the sign Sagittarius, the planet Jupiter, and depending on how you refer to him, he can appear a little differently and do different things. As Zadkiel, he will help you kind of soften your heart. You will be able to forgive others more easily, forgive yourself, um, have more mercy and compassion for other people, You'll just be able to open your heart a lot more. You know, if there's something you need to confess, you'll be able to do that easier, knowing that God's love is still there for you, as Zadkiel is there to remind you. The other name is Sakiel, and with Sakiel, which um, in Damien equals angels and archangels, is actually mentioned as an angel of the Wheel of Fortune. That is a name that, when referred to in biblical texts, refers to Zadkiel's capacity to bring luck and fortune and to also help you give money to the poor. So, you know, give to charity, give to those less fortunate. Sachiel, um, that different version of Zadkiel, can help you do that. The Zohar, or the Jewish text that informs a lot of Kabbalah, um, actually also does mention that Zadkiel, along with Jophiel, is one of two angels that follows Michael when he goes into battle. Which is a pretty big deal. However, keep in mind that if you are not Jewish, you really don't have any business touching like the Zohar, Kabbalah, anything like that. That is a closed practice, it's an initiation based practice. It's not something that Christians can kind of just jump on into, um, but that's okay because there are still plenty of other ways to bring Zadkiel into your practice. And so, for me, I am someone who has a lot of uh, trouble, say, with negative self-talk, um, with letting things go and being forgiving of, you know, things not going according to plan. And that is why I'm pretty sure God has actually told me to work with Zadkiel, because Zadkiel is someone who can just kind of remind you that it's not that serious, that you don't need to beat yourself up, you don't need to beat others up, you don't need to beat anybody up. Just relax, have some empathy for yourself and others, some mercy, some compassion, see the points of view of other people, work through relationships that might have gone sour from conflicts or things like that, and just let it go. Move on. In my mind, he appears um, with like very like magenta-ish, like purple and gold. Um, he's also mentioned to be, you know, violet and blue. When I invoked him as Sachiel, um, which actually I didn't realize they were the same angel because he appeared very differently. It was like black and gold robes with a big wheel behind them. 
Um, so they can appear differently entirely depending on what you are registering. And I do think that the different appearance of angels honestly entirely depends on how you interpret the energy that's coming through. Like, it's as if you, your brain is the computer spitting out the actual words and code and all that stuff after you were fed a bunch of ones and zeros, if that makes sense. But if you are someone like me who has, you know, Sagittarius rising or other Sagittarius placements, Zadkiel uh, is definitely one that would make sense to go to, and the angels of Sagittarius fall under his command as well. So in that regard, there's a lot, there's a lot you can do there. Whether it's trying to, you know, be easier on yourself, whether it's trying to gain a little bit more money, or be more open to assisting other people financially or materially, he's there to help with that. And in my opinion, as a writer, as a witch, as a Christian. The combination of Michael, Gabriel, and Zadkiel has really been a good one. One that makes sense. Granted, I do need to work a little harder with them. But that combination of energy, that discipline, that creativity, and then that just general mercy, that compassion to, you know, put the brakes on things and not keep pushing until I literally run out of gas. It's helpful. It's very, very helpful. And of course, you can absolutely work with more than one angel at once. And with that regard, we've talked about enough angels that you can probably, just as I explained right there, uh, think about how these different angels not only work independently, but how they work together to help you achieve single goals or multiple goals at once. By the way, if you want to see these videos two weeks earlier, consider subscribing to my Patreon, where you not only get all these videos, but also recipe cards, uh, specific deity profiles, and lots of other interesting things to look at. Video tiers start at $10 a month, so definitely consider checking it out.